Alright, good morning. Wonder why I keep saying that. The good morning thing? Hmm. It's morning for me. Like, am I wishing you a good morning? Hmm. You're probably not. It's not a morning for you, probably. Hmm. Some Zana mapping? Yeah, Zana has the best maps. If I take a route. Wait, what was I thinking? If I take a ring, I can take the Ice Golem as. cast one damage taken. I can move the despair or something. Hello, Node Runner. How are you doing today? He says, I am new. Yes, indeed. New indeed. New and refreshed. Wait. Isn't it evening for you? So that would be... Not new and refreshed. Newly waking up, yeah. and I am not refreshed though. Might be in a little bit. Ooh, good thing to open that little chest, eh? I'm curious. What's my hit chance? Ninety-nine percent chance. It's not very high. Not high enough. It's not a hundred percent. Do like a hundred percent hit chance. However, I shoot so many times. Maybe it's okay. Hmm. Oh, hello again, banana wolf monkey. Nice to see you again. How are you doing today? Oh, you have to show the new staff? Yes, you do. Did you get some sleep? Hmm. Alright, he says... Before that, he said, I'm refreshed, I slept a bit, donated plasma, played PvE, emailed professor, and now I'm here still playing PvE, lol. Nice. Poor professor has to read a brick of an email about this and that because I couldn't sync my segment my thoughts. And got a bit too reflected in the email, but whatever. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. That, <laughs> these new drug the drugs really seems to affect you, eh? Affect? Affect? Hmm. Alright, the chest. Five linked. Cane of Kulmak. Serpent scene staff. Not full on quality. Yeah, get the quality up, maybe. Hmm. Chance to block attack damage while wielding a staff. That's nice. Wait, increased unveiled modifier magnitudes. Oh! Oh, wow. That's for... Is that for crafted or is it just for... The unveiled modifiers? Increased spell damage. A lot of spell damage. Chaos damage over time, a lot of chaos over time. Increased cast speed, a lot of increased cast speed. Uh, oh wait, all, are all these unveiled? This, all right, 69 increased mana regeneration, great for you, yeah. Gain arcane surge when you kill an enemy, wow, yeah. Wow. No, no, what's my exist? It's a local mod. There are three hybrid mods. Or two hybrid... Wait. It is local mods. There are three hybrid mods. Or two hybrids and one solo. It's random. You just happen to get hybrids, lol. I mean... 
And you got great ones at that. Right, isn't there... Yeah, there are chaos over time. Spells. I know, a specific one that might Just be... A build that a lot of people that play that I haven't played in a long time. Hmm. Oh, right. Quality doesn't matter for damage because spells... Of course. Of course, that, that doesn't matter. That is definitely a spellcaster thing. That was crazy. And crazy indeed. Ah. Although it will matter because I'm gonna six link, he says. Yeah, indeed. That's a good idea, yeah. Good idea, indeed. Thank you, fuckers. Oh. <laughs> I already filled him with arrows before even seeing him. That was funny. And six thirty. We're doing like thirty. Oh, hello, Blasmus. Nice to see you again. Huh. Oh, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. I'm sorry. You were telling, was a telling me or us a story about yourself, and I treated you like you were the antagonist in that story. It felt like it, anyway. I wanted to apologize. I'm sorry about that. Node Runner says, today I compiled Lupa for 8-bit risk AVRs? Question mark. Um, you tell me. I, I don't know if you compiled that, but I, I assume you did. Lupa for 8-bit risk. There's a lot of stuff I don't know what that are, what those are. Risk. Hmm. Right, but on Wolf Monkey says the staff, I if I six leg might actually be enough to motivate to try Soul Rend. Yeah. Indeed. Soul Rend or that other thing. 
where it spreads chaos over down chaos time chaos damage over time to everybody around you. Plasma says that I bought Metro Exodus, Darksiders, Genesis, Hellpoint, Cook, Serve Delicious 3, Levelhead, Fury Unleashed, Size Matters, Morkred, Relicta, wait. Relicta, Retimed, Family Man, and Vane for $10? Where? How? When? That's... That a deal that is accessible for anyone. I mean, just for level head, I would actually. If I can't get level head working, though, that's not a lot of money. I mean, the names looked interesting. I don't know. Humble choice. Alright, maybe I should get Humble's choice. Hmm. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna add it to my to-do list. Humble. The to-do list is getting shorter, eh? It's getting shorter. I don't know what my guess is. Wait. EDC, but I don't feel like doing it. Oh, yeah. What does EDC stand for again? I don't feel like doing a two-button build. Yeah, that is a two-button build at least, right? Well, all my builds are a billion buttons, but not two main skills. Ah, there we go. Blasphemous says level head works for the first few levels. Then they give you some stickers. Then it crashes every time you start it. Oh yeah, I heard, I was looking into it after you recommended reading about it. I was reading about it on Wine. Wine HQ. That is what seems like, yeah, it's the networking that is the issue. At first it was, just, you could play the full campaign. But then they changed stuff around and now it just... Alright, it crashes with the stickers because the stickers are connecting to their servers, I suppose. Also, they submitted a bug report. I was reading the bug reports on it. So they submitted a bug report. And then that got reported fix. It wasn't. So then they submitted another bug report and then nothing else happened. Hmm. Essence drain slash contagion. Thank you. How was it, by the way, level had the first few levels? Or did you, did you feel that you didn't... You didn't get enough to say anything about it. One more thing I want to check is I want to go over here. I think we've talked about these before. Yeah, the microcontrollers. Alright. Yeah, I remember that. Risk was... I'm assuming that was the open source one. That is Lufa. Risk. Introduction to Lufa, is that it? Universal Serial Bus is now a common and vast framework for serial communication. The interface not only, alright. Popular AVR microcontrollers fortunately have the USB interference feature and can be programmed to build USB devices. So, Lufa is for, right, you're learning more after, if I'm getting this straight, I'm guessing, 
yeah you've done the keyboard and now you learn more about the usb thing so you can make your own stuff getting more control over the thing because i'm assuming lufa is part of the keyboard nope skywalker stop doing that Lasma says, it was good until it broke. Hmm. It tries to connect you when it starts and fails, but then tries to connect again and finally connects. Maybe it tries to connect to download content, but fails and gives up and crashes. Maybe. Now I feel like, I wonder if, I know it, the, it was made from Game Maker. Part of me was just, maybe I should just download Game Maker, put up uh, like a, like a host thing. But that's way too much work, right? I'm assuming it is something built in on Game Maker, right? I'm kind of hosting through that. Ooh, that is a nice find. Should have paid more attention. Upgraded the thing, maybe. Hmm. Right. Thicket bow. No, that's not what I'm. No, spine bow is what I'm upgrading. Hmm. You sent something new? No. And what looks is I keep IDing good stuff. Alright, what did you what did you ID this time? Hmm. Noderunner bought some, some games as well. Zen Chess, Mate in 2, Zen Chess, Mate in 3, Zen Chess, Mate in 4, Champion Moves, Blindfold Masters, all of those chen chess. What is Zen Chess? Is it just real chess or... Hmm. Wrong world, actually, that I was thinking about that, I forgot that. I was thinking about adding a ch chess to the chatbot, so one could play chess. Put a little chess board, I don't know, up on that 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 side, far off on the screen, way over there. Put a little chess board for people to play chess. Uh, what else? Wrong world, world. Four world, three world, two world, wings of, oh, wings of V, I recommend that. I've heard good things. Wings of V. Hmm. Shutter 2, Shutter Pinstripe, Night Swap 2, Night Swap, Kelvin De and the Infamous Machine, and the ship remastered for five dollars. Lasmus says that must be that new fanatical bundle. I have no idea about any of those things. Alright. Elemental damage, strength, spell damage, fire damage to spells, critical strike chance for spells, plus one fire to all fire. Well, all the first ones are great. Reduced enemy stun threshold. Eh. And fire spells. I suppose if you have some extra to put in it, but yeah, that's some great stuff. I don't know if Flame Dash helps from levels, maybe. Hmm. 
This was an idea, and it's basically an endgame item for spell, uh, for fire spell. Yeah, pretty much an endgame. This one is a minion builds wet dream, enthralling sight, ghastly. Maximum energy shield, minion deals increased damage if you use a minion, minion skill recently. That's nice. 2% increased effect of your curses. Oh yes, very nice. Minions have 4% chance to taunt on hit with attacks. Ooh. Ah, that was nice. Node owner says that the chess games is a puzzle. You're presented with a scenario and have to solve it by getting mate in Just need and the number. Alright. Oh! The fire spell mod is a global mod on that, not a local. Is that because of the all? Plus one level to all fire spell skill gems. Wow. Wow. I didn't say socketed, no. been a lot of maps in this map. I need more Wait. I'll pull for the boots, eh? Do not die. Wow. Damage is terrible. even pick up a silver coin or a jeweler's or oh I could yeah, nice pretty sure yep not picking that up No chests. Well, that was a waste of time. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Don't even know why. Oh well. monkey says oh yeah so there's an influx of people making lewd hideouts and it's sparking discussion i may have downloaded one all right that sounds cool lewd hideouts eh it seems like a fun idea and how Right, he links to YouTube. I'm assuming that's not really safe for for stream.
Wait. Wait, let me open that again. Get a timestamp. And then they go in... No, they're just standing around. Standing around. And that's not a hideout. I think you... Oh, it's the start of the video. Alright. Ah. Yeah. People being bored? Oh, it's full of nudity. Yeah, it was. Would be cautious if you're not sure. I'm not sure either. It's not full on nudity. No, but it's... It was probably fine, but if you want to see it, the link is right there, right? Good luck out there. But that's a fun way to spend your t your time, I suppose. Like the, the artistic types do all kinds of stuff. It's fun. Right, I think I can get rid of all of these. 29%. I've got four of them now. So yeah, let's get rid of all of these. Yeah, all but one. Right, what do we have? Invasion boss. Ugh. Laboratory. Complete the labyrinth trial. I like that. No reflect, eh? No, but point blank. That's fine. Yeah, it's not timed, and it's a la labyrinth trial. Yeah, sure, let's do that. But on Wolfmark says, some people are like, well, I shouldn't have to see this when I trade with people, and other people are like, well, the game is rated M, and there's naked monsters. The community calls titty bitches because they shoot spikes out of their nipples. Titty bitches, eh? Hmm. Ah, a lot of nudity in the game. One of my exist arguments that I take... Right, the arguments that I take a guilty pleasure in laughing at are the people who complain their kids play the game. <laughs> Alright, a murder hobo game. And... Nudity is the problem. Yeah. Nudity is the problem, yeah. I found that weird. Like, always. I've never gotten my head around that. Like, all the violence on TV, that's okay. But the porn, oh no, we can't have the children watch porn. Why is that still a thing? Why is it still a thing? They say because it sets unrealistic expectations, yeah. Like, the Disney movies don't set unrealistic expectations, right? Not at all. They're all fine. The Marvel Universe, no unrealistic expectations in those 
films or the war movies ah. I don't get it because really I know where it comes from right it's a religious thing but it's a, it's a specific specific religions as well I don't think all religions are like that hmm Rana Waffle Monkey says, also, there's naked statues everywhere. Yep, that's what I was thinking about when I said nudity everywhere. Well, at Siri and Uber at Siri with her four tits out. Mm -hmm. Rana Waffle Monkey says, there is no pipe. Every piece of art will be inherently unrealistic in some ways and realistic in others. Good point. Good point indeed. All right, where am I going next? I was thinking maybe here. When it says increased damage over time with bow skills, is that for poison? Or is it just bow damage over time skills? Like toxic rain has damage over time and is a bow skill. Can I just go to chaos resistance? Chaos multiplier? Now look at that. Chaos damage and chaos resistance. That's not too shabby. Hmm. What do we have? Crit. Multiplier. Don't need multiplier. The critical strike chance there is nice though. Swords. Totems. Does these have placement speed? Attack speed, I like that. I could go this route. Go to totems. Or, ah. I like this. Critical strike chance with bows. Yeah. It's a lot of critical strike chance just for... I don't know what the monkey says. Yeah, I think it should apply to the dot. If it is a bow skill that does a dot. Yeah, so that does not help me then. These crit chances, though, do. What about accuracy? Come on, sit up. Deep breaths. All right. Accur Where do we have accuracy? Here we got accuracy. Attack speed and accuracy. That would be something as well. What's this? Dual wielding. Projectile damage. Fury bolts. Accuracy, projectile speed, projectile damage, and some strength. No. Nah. 
All right, I've got all this, the dual sockets, right? I've got dual sockets, I've got critical strike with bows, and I did, where was the accuracy? Right here. And the chaos resistance. That's what I'm thinking about. Hmm. And what the is this? Oh my god, leveling arc increases how many times it chains. Wow. I thought it only chains like four... Uh, like four... times? Inherently. It chains eight for me. Wow. That is... That is a build that I want to play sometime. The whole screen has to be full though. Can the computer handle all that arcing? Also, playing with that, you could say, I use Arc, by the way. If you, if you play that build, that's that's a Linux meme. Oh, we got something down here as well. Damage with bows, damage over time with bow skills, that doesn't really help. Accuracy, though. Attack speed and accuracy, as well as... Increased damage with bows, attack speed, increased accuracy... Physical overwhelm... 10% physical damage reduction, wait... Hmm... This one has damage, accuracy, and 10% attack speed, accuracy, and wait, 13. Let's go for the crit. I need to crit more. More damage. Not on this, I'm reworking my keyboard from scratch using QMK. QMK. All right. All right. How come no donor? Is it just like learning, or is there a benefit to changing to whatever you were using before? I'm curious. Indeed. All right, crippling grief. Here we go. So slow, though. Low on mana. 
Alright, it's time to stand around. Why try a new keyboard firmware? Surely for discovery. Who know who knows what I'll be able to do? I will be able to do. Yeah, who knows? It didn't last very long. The, this keyboard fixing and editing, you really do enjoy it, eh? Seems like it has been a great time for you, this keyboard and compiling and doing firmware and all the things. Reminder to occasionally check menagerie. I think I'm fine, but that's a good reminder. I'm gonna forget it before the map is over. It is a good idea, though. Oh wow, we put the thing there. How rude. says, I'm sure I'll get bored of it one day, but then I'll have my kick-ass keyboard. Yeah, that is how it works. I mean, if I, like, in your situation, like if it was me, because I get bored probably way easier than you, I would do something along the lines of, um, Yeah, waiting, because you can keep on going, right? You can keep on going to the hardware and in the end just end up with a keyboard where you've done all the stuff by yourself. I've been... I really am gonna buy... Um, what's it called? I'm looking forward to it when I, if I can ever afford a 3D printer, if it's a viable thing for me, I'm gonna buy that. Maybe for making a keyboard, well, the keycaps, I mean, not, not the keyboard, but the keycaps. Uh, but not, not necessarily that, I also have lying around, I have um, the results from an MRI scan. I have that laying around. So, printing a 3D model of my own brain, that is just too... Mm, that's too juicy. Too juicy. I want it badly. Just having it on a... like a sh shelf or something, just laying around. Just open up, look inside. Yeah, that's my brain. To scale would be the coolest. Oh, that was not where I was going. Please don't kill me now. Relevant XKCDs. Two of them. Alright, here we go. Number one. Borrow your laptop. Can it load up on your laptop? Sure. You just hit both shift keys to change over to QWERTY. Caps locks. Caps lock is control and spacebar is caps lock. And two finger scroll moves. Through time instead of space and... <laughs> nice. Once I've used the com 
Once I've used a computer for a while, no one, no one else will ever use it again. Yeah, but that's... That doesn't even have to be a keyboard, that's... If someone just started up my computer now, maybe Blasphemous could deal with my computer as it is now, and... Yeah, other Linux ner Linux nerd could figure it out, but if you don't know Linux, just starting up this computer, you wouldn't know what to do. Hmm. If used with software that could keep up a scroll wheel mapped to send a stream of undo and redo events would be kind of cool. I guess that would be cool, yeah? Well, what makes this? You wouldn't print a house, would you? Well, not that big of a 3D printer, but if I could... Hmm. No Donner says, I've always wanted an MRI scan. Wonder what quirks my brain may have. Yeah, that's a, I always want, wanted that as well. So when I got the chance, I'm like, oh man, you gotta give me, you gotta give me this stuff. So now I've got a 3D model lying around. It's great. Ron Wolfmark says, "Doctor's gonna scan my brain and be like, what the hell?" Yeah, I haven't done anything with it yet. It's one of those things. I got bored. It took a lot of work just to get to get uh, understand how to get the 3d model working right because it's just a series of pictures rather than right it's not a 3d model i just got all the pictures and make the 3d model myself yeah finding like a database and doing comparisons like out of the norms norm that would be fun as well But on Wolfmunk says, I haven't done anything with my brain yet either. <laughs> We're in this together. Oh. The, the printer. Yeah, no printing or no comparison to databases of brain scans. <laughs> I've done quite a bit with my brain, so you're on your own, I'm afraid, Banana Wolf Monkey. Hmm. No donor says, Oh, there's a big hole in your brain here. Typical uh, of people who use computers 24-7. <laughs> nice. Actually, I did have a big, big thing. It was like, there's a, probably like this big hole. It's right in, I don't remember, here or here. Besides the olfactory bulb. Yeah, closer to the sinuses. And they were like, that's a big fucking thing, right? It looked like they didn't know what it was. But, oh, do I have a tumor? But they tried it out and said, eh, it's probably nothing. They tested it out. Hmm. I just have a big thing. It would be, they would have to like crack open my face to get it out. They made a test and said, ah, it's probably fine. So it's probably just snot and cheese or something that it's just bundled up. And it's just stuck in there now. Hmm. Oh, hello, Crappy Chloe. Nice to see you again. They say, good morning. Good morning to you too, Crappy Chloe. All right, what do we have? Keyboards are disgusting. Want to see an optical illusion? Hold your keyboard up in front of you and look at a home row. Now cross your eyes a little... So the G and H overlap. Keep focus. Lift the keyboard over your head. Ew! Uh, yeah. Do you really fall for that? Oh man, I wouldn't fall for that. Alternative method. Convince them uh, to pretend it's an etch -a sketch and try to erase it. Oh, gross. I want keycaps with braille on them. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, keycaps with braille, so... I don't know braille. But I would after a while, right? I would know braille after a while, I think. Hmm. No, 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 it says, should they do more brain scans to make sure it's not growing? 
Well, they say it was so big, if it started growing, you will notice. That's what they said. Right. And, I mean, they did a biopsy. Right. That's what he did, a biopsy. So he said that it's no problem. The only reason to remove it if it is if it um, uh, what's it called it starts with it being uh, a discomfort thing. As the way I work though is that I won't notice the discomfort. So maybe take it away sometime. But it's very invasive for something that is not dangerous, so they strongly recommended not removing it. Unless it becomes necessary. No donor says. Oh, well, that's not concerning at all. Yeah, the doctor was convincing. Cyst. There we go. Right. It wasn't um, a tumor. It was a cyst. But he said also that it wasn't that rare. But I don't know. I'm not concerned. Why am I taking all that damage? Is that blood rage? No. I must have been bleeding. Another 30%. Lovely. So uh, how have you been doing, crappy Chloe? No donor says, I had brain surgery as a kid. They implanted a tube in my brain. I was too young to remember, but I still have the tube. Huh. Why did they do that? I'm glad it went well. So yeah, it seems like it would be a lot of work to remove the tube. It's just a series of tubes. Your brain? Oh man. Couldn't resist. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Don't need to pick up the twenty nine ones anymore. Ah, the fluid was building up and needed to be drained. That is... That would be a problem, yeah. Would be a reason to get an MRI, right? Wanted to manipulate the, do do the doctors to getting an MRI. Hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, I got MRIs. And what's the other one called? The CAT scan? No, wait. There's another thing. I got that as well. Not the CAT scan, but the one with the... Um, the electrodes to the skull. Pet? Hmm... I can't remember. Maybe that is, that's what it's called. One where they take a big hat on you and... And put a bunch of stuff at your scalp. But that's no... Yeah, so that's no imaging. Actually, I did get a pet scan as well. Pet cat? I don't know the difference. And it took many different pictures on my brain. Hydrocephalus? Isn't that just like water brain? Wait, what does cephalus mean? I forget. Yep. Hydrocephalus is a condition in which accumulation of the ce cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, occurs within the brain. This uh, typically causes increased pressure inside of the skull. Yeah, that's unacceptable. Yeah, it's... Flush, uh, yeah, it's um, flushing it out, right? Mm. Older people may have headaches, double vision, poor balance, urine incontinence, per personality changes, or mental impairment. In babies, it might be seen as a rapid increase in head size. Other symptoms may include vomiting, sl uh, sleepiness, seizures, and downward pointing eyes. What does cephalus mean again? Doesn't that just mean brain? Yeah, that could... That could lead to plenty of different things, yeah. Usually that stuff gets flushed out in the... During sleep, right? If I remember. Hmm. Hold on, it says very young children don't have their skulls fused, so their heads expand like a balloon. Yeah. Remember, I don't. Yeah, it's all moldy. No, moldy. Uh, moldable. There we go. Cephalus means head. Not brain. Head. Water brain. Ew, that's gross. Just need a Not to yuck anyone's yum, but... Yeah. Chaos Orb. Like those. They have been very rare for me, and I've spent them all. Hmm. Not on says, Sure, I am glad modern medicine is a thing. Hmm. Say what you will about it, but I'd be dead without it, says Not on wonder if I would be dead. It depends what you count as modern medicine. Penicillin? I would probably be dead without penicillin. 
antibiotics, if you will. I mean, who knows how many of us would be dead without vaccines, right? Isn't smallpox? Wait, I forget. Smallpox? Isn't that one of the things that, like, has just killed the most humans, bar none? And it's not a thing anymore. I'm bad with names. Now, Wolf Monkey says, I'd like. I would have, like, no teeth, and I'd be blind right now without modern ma medical procedures. Lol. Wow. And toothpaste. Mm. Malaria is a big one. Yeah. Malaria? I don't know. Isn't that smallpox the, the, the thing? Smallpox. Was. Yeah. There it is. Was. Certified to global eradication in the 1980s. Right? Lot of people dead with that one. Just need a moment to catch my Nodrunner says, vaccines are nice. Yeah. yeah. I would like to see a bigger effort being spent on... Um, what's it called? on new antibiotics or like a replacement or whatnot. This has got to be the one. You know what? I don't need to jump around here. I can just leave. Here we go. Banana Waffle Mike says, Friend and I was dicking around in middle school, throwing pine cones at each other. One just happened to pelt my eye, and an eye doctor had to numb the eye and pick the fragments out with tweezers by hand, basically. Then prescribed eye drops and antibiotics so the microscopic bits he couldn't, would, couldn't get out wouldn't infect me. Thankfully, it was just a superficial debris, and none of it pierced. Oof. Well, that's some dangerous stuff, eh? <sighs> Sometimes... We get lucky. Hmm. But on a waffle, like this on a side note... And then nothing else. Just on a side note. Yeah. Having someone tweeze your numb eye is not an experience like anything else. I mean, I was gonna say, I can imagine, but I really can't. I cannot imagine. No. I would guess that it's rather uncomfortable. Wait, 
what did I need? One more Chaos Orb, and then I can put speed on these. No, no, it says, one time I got an eyelash in my eye. I couldn't sleep until I got it out. One time? That has happened to me plenty of times. It's so frustrating. But on Othmark, it says, honestly, it wasn't even uncomfortable because literally couldn't feel. It was just weird. The worst thing I've ever done, like, was in Thailand. I had been diving. You know, you pressure equalize all the time. But I had, like, wax in my ear. By my... Mm, the drum thing. What's that called? I don't remember. But a drum thing. So, it, like... Started moving back and forth, so I got a... The thing that's filled with pus. So I had to go into, like a... What was that? I don't know, some kind of shop, and in the back... There was a doctor's, like it was just... Not really a tourist shop. Malleus? Is this banana wolf monkey? Maybe. Malleus. No, not the bone. It's like where if you try to stick something into your ear, there is a place where it just stops. Eardrum. The drum thing, yeah. The tympanic membrane, or yeah. I think, the tympanic membrane. I got a thing filled with pus. Oh. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Take a deep breath. So I got this Thailand woman, right, sitting there and just taking uh, stuff in and just looking around, poking at it, and, oh, there's a, there's a thing here. Just give me a moment. And then she just stabs it. She stabbed it. She stabbed my eardrum and just to puncture the the thing to get get rid of it. And that that was the most painful thing I've ever experienced. Ah. No donor says one night in Bangkok and your and the world is your oyster. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed Bangkok. This was in the the south of Yeah, the south of Thailand. Don't even remember where it was. I think it was the PP Island? No, it wasn't out of on an island. I don't fucking remember. I was having like a moped, like a slow motorcycle, very slow motorcycle. I was riding around on, so it could have been all over the place. Somewhere in the south. Close to Phuket, but not Phuket, I think. No, fuck, I don't remember. Lone Wolf Monkey says, oh, close, oh, oh, oh. I wonder if it's, if that's like Timpani Drum? Oh, that's, what is Timpani Drum, all right. Timpani. Drum. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. 
Hold on a sec. One time I stuck a Q-tip too far in my ear. That hurt. I can imagine. I can imagine. I don't know what one says because tympanic membrane is eardrum. Yeah. Probably. Eardrums. Timpani. It's all about drums, yeah. A membrane that vibrates to send audio signals. It's a good name for it, I guess. I spend a lot of time Q-tipping my ear. Then I learned you're not supposed to do that. So I, there is this other thing where you can... Like there's like a solution you can put in your ear and just have it there for a while. And then rinse it. You can rinse out your ear and get the stuff out. After I did that a couple of times, since then my ears have been fine. I haven't needed Q-tips anymore. It's, it just works. It's... The accumulated wax is just... Gets extruded? Is that the word? Hmm. Let's do the museum. Nerd Honor says, that sounds like a good solution. Yeah, what's a good solution? <laughs> oh man, I love that. Some more Zana map edge, yeah. Meta more. I don't like modern medicine. It's can't wait till it gets more modern. I guess like a lot of people have that daydream of living forever. That would be cool. To be part of the last generation of humans. In in a good way, not a not a bad way. There's a bad way to be the last generation of humans as well, but hmm. No, Donner says, I have chest pain, and I've seen doctors multiple times about it, but they tell me my heart is fine. Apparently, some people just get chest pain for not heart reasons. Yeah. I think it it's not always heart reasons, but you should always go see the doctor, right? 
because if it is heart reasons, you should really go see the doctor, right? That's why it's so important. Uh, anyway, I had chest pains most of the day today, and I just felt like chilling at the computer. Yeah, that, that has got to be scary. Did it say reflect? Maybe it didn't. Oh we'll no. Now. Did not say reflect. Wait. They said it was not the heart. Did it say what it was? The chest pain? Where it comes from? Or they don't know, they just check the heart and said, oh, it's not a heart. Now, Donner says, it is not great for my anxiety. I can imagine. Me, I, w I would like to have like a... Prop, like, rather than um, it's not this... I would want to have an, it's this, answer about the thing. Like the uncertainty would be a big deal for me. Yeah, uncertainty. I guess the working theory is that it is acid flux related. Hmm. Aren't there, like, stuff to drink for that? Or, yeah. That's heartburn, right? That's what you call that in the... Oh, hurt. I think it was actually stuff like that that made me quit sugar. I didn't feel chest pain, though. That was more like a... Uh, yeah, heartburn thing. For that, I will... S Interesting map this is. What's it called? Yeah, there is a thing that really help, right? If you're sour and the acid, you can deacidify with a base. There is a base, common base that is put in like everything. I just put some of that in my water, and usually that that helped out. I don't recall. I don't know, just I take medication for acid reflux, but I still have the issues with it sometimes. I had an upper endoscopy. Doctor said my esophagus looks fine. Alright, those were words. I think I pronounced them correctly, I have no idea what they mean. Oh, actually, we can try that out. I'm curious now, see if it works. And those. Look at that. But on a wolf monkey, says panic attacks are a very scary and dangerous game of biological boy who cried wolf. Oh, he said anxiety, not panic attack, but the point still stands. I disagree, Banana Waffle Monkey. I would say panic attacks and anxiety have a cause. It's They're not crying wolf. I disagree with that statement. If you have a panic attack, there is something to... 
Right? There is something there. Right? You can be a generally anxious person and just easily get anxiety, but that's... There is still like a stimuli and a response. Alright, so endoscopy is a visual examination of the interior of a hollow body's organ uh, by use of endoscope. Do you want the next definitions? Use def next. Did not want that, that was fine. Define gastroenterologist. A physician who specializes in diseases of the gastrointestinal tract. You want the next definitions? No, that's fine. We had... Uh, actually, now, since I'm at Wikipedia, I want that other word. I want a picture of the thing. I want a picture of this thing. See if it is what I think it is. Yep. My grandfather had taken like this whole bit, right, from up here even. All this bit just removed. What they do is that they take the grab from down here then and just stretches this out and just stretches the, mm, the stomach out and just sews it on here. Just, just clamp it on right there and then let it stretch out over months and months. Yeah. Well, what monkey says? Oh, dope! Define set. Why is it not working? Ah. Why did nothing happen? That's very strange. Got to try again. I have no idea why that not is not working. That's... Oh, actually, yeah. To do... Define set. There we go. Can I add it to the to-do list like that? Like that. But on Wolf Monkey says, are there just too many definitions available? I'm gonna try it out this afternoon. I did it with something that had, like, 14 different definitions. But I, that, that was a good idea, though, because... Well, it might be that. Because the one I... It only had um, nouns and verbs. I've only tried with nouns and verbs. I didn't think about that. Pretty sure set blows 14 out of the water, yeah. I'm thinking maybe because there are many different word classes. It's, mm. it's very strange because it does not crash the bot and I don't get my... Like I, I have... Debugging tools. I've, I send messages to standard out when I do all the things, and it's, it's sending the message out like it, like it, like it is working. Because I was thinking it's my regular expressions that somehow broke. I'll look into it this afternoon.
What do you have? Some terrible boots? Yeah, I don't care about those. No, Donner says, I used to have a vicious cycle of having chest pain that resulted in a panic attack. I would then go to the doctor, who would check out my heart and tell me it's fine. Ever since I started taking SSRIs, I get less, uh, a lot less panic attacks. However, I'm still getting the chest pain, and there's still uncertainty there. Now that... That does suck indeed, right? Right? If you're an anxious person, then having that uncertainty is no good. All that uncertainty is not good for you, right? But yeah, the, sure, the SSRIs helps you out with your anxiety and whatnot. I assume they do. I did. That's what it sounded like, anyway. And that's great stuff. Still need... Hmm. Need to know, right? Well, the chest pain, you need, it, you need to know or you need it to stop. Ooh, another 30%. A lot of 30%ers now. Nodoner says, but I think sometimes it is just not possible or practical for a doctor to explain everything. Mm, yeah. Indeed, of course not. They just check that you're not having a heart disease and don't go much further. But consequence, right? Your health, I did check that, sure, but your health is still, right? It might be that they can't figure it out, right? And that they won't. That's very possible. You can be happy that it's not a heart disease, right? Because that's, that's the dangerous stuff. And for some people, right, it's different for different people. But for you, it it is taken a toll on your mental health. So if they're a physician and wants to help you, then there is the practicality. Right? It is worth some extra effort, right? Even if it, even if it wasn't, well, yeah, the mental thing, it would still be worth it, right? People are living in pain. Well, what they would say then, right? That's what they do, right? Yeah, take some painkillers. Does it go away? All right, fine. It's nothing dangerous that we could find, so therefore, just take some painkillers until you have some new symptoms that we can. You will read the letter to the council. Oh, fuck. I wonder if I've missed that already. Hopefully it's by the boss.
personally, I'm in the opinion that medical stuff should not... It's not an... Mm, I mean, sometimes it is. But I would prefer it not to be such an economical thing, right? Looking at the economy, right? Using the word practical. Oh, whoa, whoa. And I'm dead. And I did not place a teleport, did I? I did not. Let's see. Well, monkey says, love dying to s something I moved away from because I rubber banded back to it. Oof. That doesn't happen a lot to me anymore. Yeah, rubber banding doesn't happen to me a lot. Hmm. Last misses, the pain does not go away, it just masks it. Yeah, good point. Right, if you. Like, what choices are there? I don't even remember. Was the boss over here? Over here? It's this way, either way. Let's go this way. I'm gonna guess it is up here. Just need a moment. It was not. It's all the way back here. I would rather have masked pain than unmasked pain. If those were the two choices available to me. I wonder if that's even true. I wonder if that's true. I'm not so sure. I I usually don't take painkillers when I get a headache and stuff like that. Uh, when I'm just in pain. Oh. Oh, no way out. Like this. Lana Waffle Monkey says, pain is psychological, though. If you don't feel pain, then you aren't in pain. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that the cause isn't there. Well, it's like... Yeah, you've got a good point. The sensations are there, but if they're not painful, you're not in pain. That's why they're called painkillers. They take the pain away, they don't take the... Since the, yeah, they just take the pain away. Good point. So the pain does go away. It it masks us. Since it has masked it, it goes away. Well, not necessarily, right? It can dull on the pain, and the pain can still be there. Right? It depends on the situation, I suppose. Now they've been cutting into me and taking off those, like birthmarks and stuff like that. I don't know why they're called birthmarks. They're not birthmarks. It's stuff growing on my skin. There we go. Cut off a lot of those things. Send them to a thing. I felt it. Like, I felt the scalpel go in and they cut and cut and yeah, I could feel all of it, but it, there was no pain. Because they took the pain away. Hmm. Not on says, part of my solution to my anxiety is become okay with dying. That is very healthy. Hmm. Being okay with dying? Yeah, not being suicidal, but rather examine why I fear death and how to come to peace with my eventual end. I think that is very healthy. Just One day I'm gonna die, and that's gonna be that. I mean, I still have fear and anxiety about 
Yeah, it's like I usually say, I fear the transition, not the end result. Right? The end result being okay with that. That has helped me somewhat, yeah. Of course, like, death by fire, I could still fear fire. Wouldn't be okay with that. But I'm imagining yeah, in my sleep or, right, from euthanasia, if I get, like, some painful disease, like a lot of cancer in the family, so perhaps. Plasma says, I'd rather not be drugged up out of my mind. Yeah, I have the... Personally, I have the general attitude of wanting to... Right. I have the general attitude that... Painkiller, since it, it masks the sensation, then I'm not dealing with the root cause, and I would prefer... To deal with the root cause. I can't do that on painkillers. I mean that doesn't really make makes sense in in a physical thing, but with mental things. For example, yeah. yeah I prefer to feel the symptoms as long as they're not right. Like, just a little bit of pain I can deal with. A little bit of pain I can deal with. It Was there a letter to the council down here? I don't think so. Nope. I missed it. Where? Hmm. Last one says, Cider dies of fire. Cinder McDead. Ah. Actually, gone by Cinder a couple of times. Cooler name, in in my opinion, but like someone said, this is the name I was given. It's not like I can change it. <laughs> Not owner says I don't like painkillers generally. Yeah. They're okay if I'm going to the dentist or whatever, but when I'm at home with a headache or something, I just deal with it. Yeah. I think it's... Mm, it might be... Uh, oh. It might become... Oh, I don't even know how to translate that. We call it a bear's favor. In Swedish. A favor that is not a favor. That's a bear's favor. To yourself. Right? Paying attention to the symptoms if you have... Any symptoms, right? Paying attention to them might help you out more than just getting rid of them ASAP. That's why I generally don't do it. However, I can also see myself if I ended up in a situation similar to yours. No, Donner. Yeah. Similar situation where right, I have pain, went to the doctors over and over, nothing changes, and it's the same, and it doesn't change. Right? I could, like, half of the times I got that pain. Half of the times I could do something about it. That makes sense? Like, just to get rid of it? Wonder if th this is it? Alright. Oh, hello. This was it. And a spine bow. Good find. Not on says, I don't think painkillers are always healthy. 
Painkillers are never healthy? I thought this was gonna go around. Now I have to run all this way back. Should I do that first? Yeah, let's do that first. And then run. So we run back and we run forth. Yeah. This is very efficient of me. Let's see. Yeah, painkillers themselves are usually not healthy, right? We talked about that before. I would prefer a distinction between painkillers and um, and medicine. Right? Painkillers are not medicine. They're not trying to be medicine. Hmm. They can cause or increase internal bleeding, especially when combined with SSRIs. Oof. That's... That doesn't sound fun at all. No fun at all. Oh. That actually... I'm just gonna... Add that to the list. No fun at all. Maybe. Oops. That was me doing that. <laughs> Whoops. No fun at all. There we go. I'm pretty sure that was the name of a band. I'm gonna listen to them. That's why I added them to the to-do list. It's like, uh... Skate pop punk? Is that a music genre? No fun at all? Skate pop punk? Is that a thing? Unique items. Essences. Catalysts. What was this? Currency items. Yeah, like that. Note owner says, I don't think painkillers are never healthy. The lack of pain can allow you to function better. Yeah. I would agree to that, but I wouldn't call it medication. Still, still I wouldn't. But yeah. If there is something, like I said, if there is something that you have to live with and dealing with it, it's just a lot of hassle. And it's just, for example, I would never live or have a room that has a ticking clock in it. I would take the ticking clock away. Right? But if I'm forced to be in a room with a ticking clock. Right? If I was forced to for whatever reason. I had to spend like two hours every day. Next to a ticking clock. I would bring like earmuffs or like uh, noise cancelers. Right? To not hear it. Mm. Yeah, that's what I would do. Get rid of it. That hurt a lot, didn't it? Twenty-eight. Hmm. Oh, no, that's fuck ticking clocks. Yeah, I'm surprised that they are 
as common as they are. Now we run all the way back again. They run back again. And we're gonna take two quick loading screens. It's the same with pain, right? Fuck the pain. Yeah. Being stuck with a body that gives you pain every day or like once a week or whatever, you know? And sure, try to deal with it. But if it's just a constant annoyance or bother, then I don't see the problem with medication in that situation. Um, medication, oh man. I don't see the problem with painkillers in that situation at all. Ooh. No, these boots are too good. Yeah, the boots are too good. I'm gonna save these just just in case. Because I'm a hoarder. Hoard all the things. Profit crown. No, I don't want that. What's this? Armor and evasion. 8% maximum life. Cold resists. Increased attack damage per 200 of lowest of armor and evasion rating. 16% chance to gain 45 when you stun an enemy with melee damage. Onslaught with 45 though. That was pretty nice I suppose. Hello, get rid of that, get rid of this, 14 to, ah, uh, 16 is max, 15 to all elemental resistances, no life on it though, thinking I might say, no, the, um, let's do it like this. Man, I have so many spine bows now. Just look at it, it's madness. Getting rid of that. All of the bows. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Every moment we spend. What do we have? Find a vol fragment. Maybe. Iceberg? Open the breaches. Player chance to dodge is unlucky. Unlucky. Ugh. Equilibrium. What this? Complete the harvest. Yes, please. What? We'll do that. All those bows I was just talking about? Time to start crafting some of them. Node owner asks, what's your favorite programming language? Oh, I wish I was good enough at programming to say that. I would say C. Yeah. Well, right. I've only ever played around with Python and C. If I would have to pick a favorite, 
I would pick C. Yeah, I like the idea of C the most. It's kind of lower level. I like learning about the lower levels. If that makes sense. I was considering rewriting the the chatbot in C instead of Python as I'm using now. That would be a lot of work though. I don't know. Wait. Did you drop this was that it? Wow. Trash. No on, it says what programs have you wrote in C? No programs. I have fiddled around with it. I think, truly, I've only ever written one program. And you can interact with it right now, if you like. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff, right? I've done a lot of mm, learning. Just making a web scraper and stuff like that in Python. And I've been... I don't know. I've never really done anything. Real no. The programmer. Well, kind of am now. I've done a program, and I decided today to do another program. I'm gonna make uh, a. Uh, my own password manager. Yeah, I'm gonna make my own password manager. And that... Oh, I hadn't even thought about it. I was just gonna do it in Python, but no, I'm gonna do that in C. Yeah. No, on, it says, remember Sectronics? Oh, I do. I do. I am still... I still haven't decided. I'm slow on those things, right? But I'm thinking that the next game to play will be that... That hacking game that you recommended yester yesterday? And the day before yesterday. Wait. I don't recall. Just to get that and just to play that ASAP. Just to be able to play it with the nephew, right? Hmm. He says a lot of their programming games are really low level. Like assembly level. Yeah, I would like to learn some assembly stuff. Actually, I'm going to add that. One thing I want wanted to add to the to-do list is... What the fuck? What do I call that? Like... Um, like Vim read binary files. Like a parser or like make it human readable. Right, I want to make a C thing... And then I want to compile it, and I want to open the compiled thing in Vim and actually see what's going on in there. Do I want to do this immediately, or do I want to run around some first? Hmm. Ooh, could you please add that to the to do list then, Node Runner? Uh, TIS 100 or Shenzhen IO? Is that f like plugins for Vim or something like that? It's like what the to do list is for. I'm. Um, Really happy if you you want to add stuff to the to do list. That's what it's for. What it's for, indeed. Like recommendations and whatnot. Yeah, stuff to do. I might not do all the things. I might just say, "Oh, that doesn't interest me." But hmm. oh, those are the Sectronic games. Oh, I thought you recommended the the hacking game thing. Or are you meaning that those are more lower level assembly stuff? The TIS-100 and the Jensen-IO. 
I would probably start with the... Um, the hacking game that we talked about, right? That was your favorite, and that's... Made a good selling point, and that's what I want to try with the... Uh, with the nephew. If I, if I ever get around to it, right? If I enjoy that game myself so much, then I might try the other games, but that would be further in the future, right? Because I, let's say I play this game, I'm gonna play... Uh, what's it called? Right, Bioshock and... Yeah, some other games are before on the list. But those are like assembly. Nice. Nice, nice. That would be the follow-up in the future. What do we have? Random physical. I do like physicals. Reveals random effect. Exchange. Yeah, that's fine. Sacrifice a map. That's fun as well. Six lightning stuff. No. We're doing this side. Oh, I thought I pressed a thing. No, no, no. It's just a TI or TIS 100 was my first Sectronics game. That's the one that got me into playing all of their work. Huh. Great stuff. I don't know. How much do you know about... Uh, what's your favorite programming languages? No runner, if you know these things. Right. I don't even know what I don't know, right? I have this idea that C is very good if you want to get... Right, it's not assembly level, like a lot of people say it's not a lower language, but it's closer to, right? Um, if I remember, you can even write assembly in C. If I understand that correctly. Hmm. Alright, let's sacrifice a map. We sacrifice this map. This map. Fossils. That was not on F. Here we go. Stack of fossils into a different type of fossil. The new fossil type may have a smaller stack size. Alright, so I want to take one. More cold, no fire. More physical, no chaos. That we can get rid of. More mana, no speed. Nope. More defense, no life. Ah, Boring. Normal or magic. We do have those things. They are right in here. Uh, like this one. Nope. And this one. Nope. Then reforge a rare. That's one of the... Th this one. Oh, we can do three times. Lovely. No, don't assist. I like C, Rust, and Golang. Hmm. Alright. So what's the... Um, hmm. They are all fairly low level as far as I understand. No on says, I also have an increased interest in functional programming, thanks to NixOS. I have an interest in that as well. But I have... Uh, that might be in my future, though. For me, it's... Right, it's a lot about learning for me, so I want to learn what goes on, what the computer does, right? Not what is best practices for me, but what does the computer do? That I am curious with.
That's pretty good. Physical, physical. Life leech. Bleeding. I think bleeding could be interesting. It was this one, right? Seventy one to two oh two. This one adds seventy two to one nine two. Wait, how does oh, it's because the add eight to thirteen is lower. The other things are greater, right? The the bleeding the bleeding could be but actually Uh, if you're still here, Banana Wolf, Mike, how, do, how does it work with bleeding? If I have a bleed on, and then I get another bleed, does it pick the highest one, or does it overwrite every time? And if I crit, will that be the bleed, or will it just overwrite with the next hit all the time? Also, I have a lot of small quick attacks. The bleeding might not be worth it. Hmm. Not under says, um, one of the reasons for trying this new key keyboard firmware is that it's written in C instead of C++. Nice. Nice, yeah. I think you would benefit a lot from this. Alright, that sounds great. You know, if you put it to-do list, if you just put exclamation point to do after a YouTube link. What's this? Learn to code and write games on the Nintendo Game Boy. I, I don't have a Nintendo Game Boy. But I will... I will look at it. See how it feels. See what it can be. I yeah. think you would benefit a lot from this. Yeah, I'll... Thank you for the tip. Damn it. I'm making a password manager. My own password manager. That's going to be fun. Hmm. Not on this. It's a great, fun way to learn programming on a low level. You don't need a Game Boy. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. Alright. Socket Link Crafting. Unique Transformation. Cold Modifiers. Change a map to another map. Cold Modifiers, we could... I could... Upgrade all the maps and give them cold. That's the benefit of this one. There are seven crafts. I can make a proper upgrade for seven maps, probably. I'm going to change one map into another map, which is also fine. Or we get the socket link. Oh, socket link crafting. I don't think I have... Can Just I look in my stash? I can't. I don't think I... Oh, I one six socket bow? I could save these. Hmm. Now let's go with that. Critting a lot, am I? Okay. 
Change a unique into a random unique weapon. Alright. Here we go. Change this unique into a big hammer. Forge the links between sockets on an item. Linking four sockets. I mean, might as well. Let's see why not. I don't see why not. Reveals a random cold. That's boring. And I'm physical. Easy choice. Lesmus asks, Cider, do you ever feel like playing retro console games? Very rarely. I have a Sonic the Hedgehog, Hedgehog, Hedgehog game on on my PlayStation that I'm gonna play someday in the future, but yeah, rarely. Well, it depends on the game. I am planning to playing Final Fantasy IX. I think I downloaded it, so it's part on the soon to be played, right? So I'll get to it within the next five years. Yeah, ne within the next five years, I'll get to it. <laughs> oh man! What did you pl used to play as a kid? Right, I had the um, Sega Mega Drive, Sonic One and Two, and then there was this Donald Duck. That game, I remember a Mickey Mouse game. I remember me and my brother playing an old, old hockey game. Yeah. So a lot of platformers early on. On that game. I don't remember any other. Sonic was a big deal. Then I went over to a... Oh, actually. Somewhere around there, I... We had got a Mac as well. And I remember breaking, playing Brick Breaker. A lot of a lot of Brick Breaker and some other point and click and some other pinball. Yeah, I played a lot of pinball, like a lot of arcade games on that. Then I got the Nintendo 64 and that was great. Ocarina of, Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of Time, I played a bunch. Love that game. Love that game. I bought a 3DS just to play Ocarina of Time on it. In 3D? Hmm. Not on it, it sounds like a... Uh, sounds like a good time, yeah. That was a good time. And I played... What else did I play on the 64? But that game is just so big. I played Golden Eye quite a bit. Hmm. Like Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart Racing. What else did I play? Then I got a PlayStation and. Final Fantasy 7 and 9 and JRPGs just took over my life. Breath of Fire 3 and 4 I think. And more of them. Yeah, a lot of JRPGs. Fucking love that. I ate that shit up. That's pretty much, but that was we're in teenage years. 14 perhaps? Maybe younger. A little bit younger I think so. No, 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 asks, did you ever play a game called Clay Fighter 63? One of the three. I don't recognize it, so I don't think so. I'll look it out. What did you guys play as kids? 
Right, stuff that sticks out. I'm assuming this. Clay Fighter 63. Playthrough with Bonker. Right, what is this? No. Oh, I remember playing Tekken 3 a lot on the PlayStation, though. A fighting game, yeah. Iggy's Wrecking Balls? Don't recognize that either, I don't think so. Nope. Did not play that game. Hmm. Claytality, says Node Runner. Oh. Fatality? Claytality? Hmm. Change the stack of fossils. It may have a smaller stack. Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Ah, that's fine. Two random sockets turning them red and green. Yes. Let's throw both of those. Blue and green. Maybe we want to store that as well. Physical modifiers. Here we go. Alright, why not take this one that has five five sockets on it already. I don't have six on anyone. Nope. This one has five though. Physical and lightning. Ugh. Bow attacks fire an additional arrow. It's too bad the physical roll is terrible and the fire roll. An additional attack would be quite an okay roll otherwise. 33 physical. Ugh. Boring rolls. Hmm. No, no, no. I'm just thinking of all the weirdest N64 games. I played hmm. Star Wars Episode One Racer was a banger. That I think I played. I'm pretty sure I played that. Yeah, I must have played that. I'm pretty sure I played it. All right, mission complete. Did all the crafting, we didn't really get anything good, unfortunately. Alright. Saved a lot of stuff, though. Prefix values. Ah. That one we can... What do we have? More chaos, no lightning. That is great. We want that. More fire, no cold. Or more cold, no fire. Just change that one. Or lightning, no physical. Ah, gross. Banana Waffle Monkey says, I think the bow you rolled over with an additional arrow could have been craftable. Those 40% increase, uh, 40 increased physical could have been a T1 hybrid. Oh. Could have. I should have checked that. Oh, that's good point. I should have checked that for sure. What about Battle Tanks, Global Assault? That I think I played. I remember playing some tank game. Nope, not that one. I played a top-down tank game. I know I played that a lot. I don't remember where I played it, but I remember playing a tank game, top-down tank game. Hmm.
Beetle Adventure Racing? Oh god, the memories. Did not play that, no. But on Wathmark, this is not the biggest deal. Though you already have a good good clear with your AoE. Though I wish I know. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Though I wish I had known about the additional arrow for the puncture build. Yeah, for the puncture build. For the bleed. For me, it's... For me, it's fine. The additional arrow would be icing on the cake. That is not the main thing that I want. It would be great icing on the cake, but it's not something to look for. But yeah, I should keep an eye out if it's a hybrid physical or real physical. Gotta be better at looking at that. Except when two projectiles are on the course for the same single enemy, only one can hit. Yep, the other one passes through and does nothing. Won't hit until a different enemy... Learn through scouring the wiki. Didn't we... I'm pretty sure we were reading about that. Maybe you weren't here, but I was reading about that. I remember reading about that in this league as well. Yeah. Every projectile can only hit once. No, 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 I mean, that's... Yeah, that's the whole reason we were talking about it. I remember. That's why we went with the pierce rather than chain. Yeah, we were talking about that. The chaining was whatever. Piercing was way more nice to have. No, 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 and Blast Core was a game where you had to escort a vehicle by destroying enemy buildings in front of it. Weird but fun. Maybe that was the one I played. Maybe. I don't remember, though. Lived in Ocarina of Time, though. That was, like... All the other games combined... Played that more, I think. In in the Nintendo 64 period, anyway. Anyway. Might as well do this with the gem. We have like no, screw that. Watch the color of two random sockets. Red and green. Oh, that's fine. Create a magic item. Adding three random modifiers. Oh. That is for crafting. And we want to craft a base and do that. Change the modifier that grants lightning to resistance to cold resistance. I can change lightning to cold. I want to. Colors of sockets. Uh, Alright, we're done with this. Forsaken 64 was fun. It was six degrees of freedom shooter like the scent. Actually, that I'm pretty sure I played. Forsaken 64. Yeah, that I played. I remember that. I played that quite a bit. Completely forgotten about that experience. Good stuff. On Wolfmonk says, I just realized Arc offsets less damage from chain support because each hit does 15% more for each chaining. For each chain remaining. Wait. 
I'm all surrounded. That message was way too long for me to read and play at the same time. All right, Eric. I just realized that arc offsets the less damage from chain support because each hit does 15% more for each chain remaining in the arc. So an additional three chains. Oh, the first hit deals more, right? It offsets by dealing even more damage on the first hit. Oh, that's interesting. 10% uh, less from the gem, but six totems with 11 chains after <laughs> after initial hit. There's that's like up to 72 monsters hit at once with all the totems out. Or 78 if I get a uh, plus one chain helmet. Wow. Not on says we can play Forsaken multiplayer online. Arc. Right? And that's the initial question, right? I'm not really... That, like, old arcade game, I think I'm pretty sure that would just lessen the memory. I think I would not enjoy playing Forsaken today. Not at all. Hmm. Well, I'll clear the entire fucking mine out in one cast. Lovely. Arc Lightning stretches from the caster to a targeted enemy and chains to other nearby enemies. Oh, fuck, I've... I've been confusing it all. I've been thinking about sparks this entire time. We're talking about arcs, of course. An arc uh, stretches from the caster to a targeted enemy and chains to the next enemy. It chain the time. Yeah, it's very AoE, right? Not a very good boss killer. Great for the mine. The arc thing. Hmm. Each time the main beam you change slowly. We shall also change to a second enemy. The secondary arc cannot chain further. Yeah, it's oof. Chains eight times. It's madness. Now Waffle Monkey says classical mild pro propism. Intentional misuse of a word by confusing with the one that sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Hey! Here we go. Oh, that was, it was way easier to put in the... Um, the it's based on WordNet, right? I decided on just going with WordNet instead of G-Side, and it was way easier to fix than I than I thought it would be. Hmm. Not on says, me and a group of friends play Forsaken together. Oh, you do it you play, well, like recently. I'd be remiss if I didn't invite you. I mean... I suppose trying it out... How, though? But I don't have my N64 or the game anymore. I'm assuming it's... Hmm. Since you still enjoy the game, maybe, maybe I should try it again. There's so many things on my list. Thanks for the invitation. Anyway, we'll see. Well, on a waffle monkey says I can boss with it uh, so far because the build, the built-in chain doesn't have reduced damage like it would for projectile gems. Oh, nice! Like puncture that don't do more damage for each remaining chain. I killed Drox Deathless with eighty percent plus quantity. Nice! It's on Steam. Interesting. Part of me thinks I enjoy that game mostly because of the lack of other games. I remember doing that a lot as a kid. Just playing games. Playing the games that I had. 
was better than not playing anything at all. to death. Wish the totems had more survivability. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be a real thing for me. I guess it's, I love being able to do to use the conqueror in maps now. Nice, good old flash games too. Oh, what's that called? Like Pico goes to school. I remember playing that. I remember playing Motas. Motas. I wonder if Motas is still a thing. I got. I gotta watch. The, check that. Out. It must be right. Motas. Yeah, still a thing. Oh. Weird. And oh, I remember another game like on Newgrounds. Yeah, Newground games. I found one game that was really great. I played that a lot. A friend as well. I'm well, well spent in school. Just placed us in front of computers. We we're like, yeah, sure. We'll study. We didn't. I love agony. Van Wolfmark's RuneScape free trial. Also great. As a kid. You're an... You're not efficient, so you don't blast through the trial content, and there's a lot of trial content. Oh, yeah, I thought RuneScape was free. Isn't RuneScape on the list? Yeah. I decided to play RuneScape. How long ago was that? Like two months ago, I said, yeah, I'll play RuneScape next. So I'll get to that within the year, hopefully. <laughs> Looks great in precision. Hold on, it says the free version is free. It's not a trial. You can. It's not a trial. You can play forever. Yeah. So many games to play. There, here I am again, just stuck in Path of Exile. But I, w I probably won't play as long Path of Exile this turn around. I kind of want a better bow. But I want a little bit better gear and see how far I can push it. For now, I'm not happy with the build yet. I want to see if I can get happy with the build. Part of me was actually even considering taking a break from Path of Exile 
playing the Sectronics game and then getting back to Path of Exile. And finishing up. ASAP, right? I don't know the time scale, how soon I need to play it. If I want to play it before taking care of the nephew, right? I think when people call something a trial, they imply it's time limited. RuneScape is not time limited. It is type limited or like content limited. Right? Uh, like the World of Warcraft free trial. You can level up to level 20. It's not even called an al uh, a trial, but an alpha account on. on EVE Online. It's very restrictive. They're not timed, but they are very, very restrictive, yeah. That's what I hear when I hear trial, very restrictive. Could be timed, could be other stuff. Yeah, it's... When I think trial, I think of, like, streaming... Streaming services, yeah. Those you get a time trial for. Wait, do we have to... Oh... I thought we just had to fight the boss and that was it. It's not like that, though. I'm all out of life, eh? Gotta open that door, just in case. Not on this, but it is a trial that ah, not paying attention. I really dislike that boss. I, I grow tired of it. Why couldn't they just have the boss fight? Why did they have to have me run through like that? Ugh. All right, not on her said, but it is a trial in that it gives you a taste of. Uh, a slice of the game without paying. Yeah. Well, Wolf Monkey says, I consider it a trial in a sense, in that sense, but it's so many zones you're locked out of. Hmm. So many skill caps, so few quests and comparisons. Yeah, it, it's probably gonna be enough for me, right? I'm not gonna start no life in runes, runescape. I don't believe. I might, but I don't believe. We'll see. Not under said you can level up as high as you want to, but you can't do every skill. And McDead. Just chatting current. Wait. What the fuck? Why does it say just chatting? All right. To do. Dead. Says just chatting. I think the number is correct, though. Could be. Yeah, the number is correct. Just the title is misleading. 
That's weird. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, I screwed something up. I screwed something up indeed. And a quote. Only you can protect yourself now. Not unless it's clearly this isn't just chatting. You don't even own a hot tub. Yeah, I don't even. I was kind of, because how it works is that the title changes based on what I'm playing. And if I don't play a game, it changes to just chatting. I was contributing, uh, I noticed the other day when I was looking around that there is a... There is a politics category, and I think, I wonder if that's more apt rather than just chatting, right? Talking politics. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why am I? I'm stuck and I'm dead. No? Oh, we made it out. Barely. That was so close. Felt kind of stun locked. Where did that dude come from? Did you stop spawning? I need more pockets, eh? Right. I don't want the citadel bow, I want the spine bow. I don't like this. Hmm. Really dislike this boss. Like, really dislike it. It's not even. I mean, this part is fine, I guess. Except all of this time when you can't do anything and just run around in circles and wait. Oh, and he does the attack again, so just running around in circle and waiting. I don't know if I'm stunned or yeah, I'm probably stunned. Just please die already. There we go. Right. Are we safe? Finally. Alright. Look at you, hacker, running through my corridor. Pits of sand stack up, slow you down, proportional to how many stacks. Yep. No, 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 I thought it was. Look at you, hacker, a pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. Oh, it's an actual quote? Patient and energy shield. We could go with that. I need more pockets. I don't want to get back here. So let's replace that with that. And the beacon with... There we are. It's the portal scroll. Museum and desert spring. This is just... Back here. And Wolfmunk says probably Maven orbed, popped and chilled you. I think it deals cold damage. Maybe. It's Shodan from System System Shock Two. 
Ah, the corridor thing. I remember that's from Bioshock. Running around in corridors, eh? Oh, I'm all out of strength. Sure, I can play that. Oh, a yellow map. I think that was the first yellow map drop. Contagion. Now let's grab one of those. Save this one. Salah. Warm nights. Time to try my first tier fourteen. Also, it's juiced. Also, Britannia is at the end. Ooh, good luck with that. I should call the maven to a map. Wait. Maven beacon allows you to call the maven to a map from your map device. Oh. What about, can I do it like that? Fail to apply item. Item is unusable. Ah, ah. Oh, I get it. Hmm. And a waffle monkey says, also, I just insta died because I couldn't escape through a door. I failed to click. That happens. No, no, it says Maven Beacon teaches typing. Does it? Hmm. Never trust. Just need a I'm kind of hyped about the idea of getting a new fancy keyboard. A new fancy setup with fewer keys on it. Yeah. Asks, where do I know that from? You know it from here. Maybe Beacon teaches typing is an application software program designed to teach touch typing. All right. Alright, 
cleared it up a little bit. Did you ever play a game called Turok for a nine uh, Nintendo 64? I think so. Rings a bell. I'm curious. I'm gonna look at it. Oh no. I recognized it because we've talked about that game before. But I did not play it, no. You made a called a mod for it. Using AI increasing the uh, the texture quality, right? Remember seeing the pictures. Hmm. An off makes this rest of. Map got a lot easier when I realized I could just literally place the totems before the door and let it clear ahead. Oh, nice. Oh, Donner says, oh yeah, I did make that. I remembered. That was kind of cool. Oh, both monkey says in caps. No, it didn't. Never mind. Veritania once shots me now. Oof. 400% crit chance, 40% crit multi, and 20% increased damage. Oh. Are you just, you're just screwed, eh? Well, easy. Just don't get hit, Banana Waffle Monkey. Just don't get hit, then. Easy. on the wind. Well, it says, how to become invincible? Just try to die and fail. Yeah. Great stuff. Great tip. Hmm. 
isn't that um that doesn't work though right if you try to do something that's then you're not trying to become invincible Monkey says, don't get hit doesn't work because she hides in the storm off screen and I can't see the telegraphs. Just get good. Just get good, Banana Wolf Monkey. Yeah, she does do that, right? Hiding in the storm. That's very annoying when you play a melee character. I'm gonna use the softcore special and throw my body at her until she dies. Yeah. Or until you run out of portals. Whichever comes first. Ah, nice. Got, took your advice and got good. Nice. Good job. That was fast. I've never gotten good that fast before. Hmm. No, 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 it says, failing to die is an exploit that the devs don't want you to know about. Want you to know. Devs? Implying there are devs in real life? That's not how it works. out of flasks over here. I don't understand in that. I don't understand in the fire either. Can't you just stand still so I can hit you? There we go. Got it. Oh, that's three completed. Hmm. And on the Wolf Monkey says the trick is to already have her at one eighth of her health before sending the message. That's the trick. Nice. Destiny 2 something reported free. All right, that doesn't. Hmm. No, 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 I'm talking about Path of Exile. Ah, there, there's no exploits in real life. Everything is always fair and balanced. <laughs> fair and balanced, yeah. Has someone been watching the spiffing Brit? Oh, I haven't been for a while now. A lot of maps. Norana says, I thought he died. The spiffing Brit? I 
That would be... You're not thinking of the cynical Brit, are you? Cynical Brit died. That was a long time ago. Oh, no, this is, oh, this is someone else. Yep. Someone else. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I don't know, is this thanks, Cider? Right. Oh, you were uh, thinking of the cynical Brit. John Bain. wouldn't say I followed it religiously, but I watched almost all the videos for a long time. Rip. Yep. Rip indeed. Such great stuff. Why did I pick that up? That's trash. Now the spiffing group Brit, he does entertainment more than commentary. Now the cynical Brit did a lot of great commentary. Blessing. Spiffing Brit is just... Yeah. Finding exploits is his big deal. Yeah. I don't even think he's finding the exploits anymore. I think people just send him exploits and he makes entertaining videos about the expo exploits. Non Waffle Mike says Spiffing Brit likes to showcase bugs, oversights, exploits, yeah, in games in his videos. Always say stuff is perfectly fair and balanced. Oh yeah, he does that. I think that phrase existed for a while now. Yeah, it's about the meme about news, right? Being fair and fair and balanced. Yeah, that's why I said showcase, not find. Yeah. And he yeah, I think he's quite funny. I have forgotten to add him to my... Actually, I'm going to write that down. I haven't watched him in a while since I switched over to YTCC. Because I forgot. I didn't... I didn't transfer all the stuff I had. So I'm just going to make a note. Oops. Right. Right here. Spiffing... All right, there's some dude as well. Let's game it out. There we go. Let's game it out. Those are quite funny. Made me think of that for some reason. Let's game it out. All right. Or refusing the cane of the. Ooh. Oh, you got the. Wait. Finally got the sockets. Time to get the magic. Yeah, good luck with that. And on Wolf Monkey says it's a meme, but it's sort of a secondary meme to be about him. Oh. I was not aware. Any tier two maps? Nope. Tier four maps, eh? Hmm. Damn game baited me, lol. Oh, did you think it was doubled three links? Ah. But six links you cannot break. Right? So you can just keep spamming. That is... That would be a situation for... What was that called again? You added the thing, Node Runner, where you press a button and it represses it over and over and over. Yeah. 
Oh. Turbo macro? Turbo, yeah, turbo. Macro, I don't know. But yeah. You know, just holding a mouse up, buzz button down and just sending it and resending it over and over and over. Uh, I don't see any reflects, so let's go. Hold on, nurses. I removed a feature because it wasn't super useful. It worked with all the keys instead of just one. Yeah, but don't you have like a button to start it and stop it? Oh. All right. Hmm. Maybe the, that layer should be like a shift, like a key combination thing, right? If you want to do it for one key, press the shift key and that key as the layer, but that would be annoying. How often would you use that, right? Mm, not very often. I'm gonna ch go check Einhar. I think we're fine. And then we're gonna do the two things and... See how that works. Both implicit and explicit mod. Reroll mod values. Oh, that's boring. Oh, man. <sighs> that was a yawn. So rude. Hit waves of enemies. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Another says, "Okay, got the new firmware." I got it compiled. I'm assuming that you have sat around and fiddled a hacked on it. And now you got it installed. Is that it? item rarity got to try right choking my asthma let's try it yeah, it's it's all right Is 
this. Spell damage. Don't need that. But I managed to beat two waves. That's an improvement. I haven't tried that in a while. excited about buying soldering gear now. We we're talking about soldering. Do, would you need, would you recommend getting like a hot plate or whatever, something to heat other stuff up when you're working? No, 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 says, I may have installed it before configuring, so I'm on QWERTY, living dangerous. Oh, wow, you're on QWERTY, eh? I'm gonna stay living in QWERTY, whatever I do, that's... Yeah. Unless there's, like, a max S exodus, where everybody just... Over the time, like, the time period of five years, everybody shifts to something else. Then I'll shift to that as well, but I'll stick with the... Stick with the general norm. I don't even know why. No, it's... Yeah, it's gaming. It's gaming. It's for gaming. I don't want to re-keybind stuff when gaming. And yeah, I know the the thing you do, right? You can... You don't have to. You can have, like, a layer. But I don't want layers. Not layers of QWERTY and something else. I want to just be stuck with what I have. Wow, there are some strong emotions about QWERTY here. Now the runner says, Fuck QWERTY. Is it really that bad after you've tried and got gotten started with something new, something different? Is QWERTY really that bad in comparison? What is bad about it then? I'm curious. I know that uh, the other ones are supposed to be, right? Friendlier on the fingers and the wrists and whatnot. Make more sense. Like based on how often you use the, the letters, but hmm. Lana Wafflemaker says, I had a so I had to solder jewelry before. Fun stuff. I have to be careful not to over or underheat the solder though. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, soldering jewelry sounds like fun as well. Especially if I'm gonna get those four piercings that I get more and more. Like, four piercings? That sounds annoying. That would probably have to go back to the one piercing thing. The problem with the one piercing thing is it's, it's gonna be unstable. Like, well, maybe not. Maybe not unstable. No donor says yes, in all caps. About the... <laughs> Kinder to your wrist and stuff like that. Hmm. No, 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 sis. I want all the most used keys on the home home row. I don't know why. I thought just numbers were on the home row. If they are not, then where are your numbers? Fuck, I forget. If it is not too much trouble to find your layout again. Would you like to send it again? I didn't save it or anything like that. You, I remember you showing a picture of your layout. If you don't mind, I would be happy. Maybe I should... Hello, 
save it out of curiosity. My mom says it's simple as that. Yeah, the further away you go from the home row, I guess. I'm thinking that I, I would want to have... Home row is the top row for you, right? I'm thinking that I would want to stay in the middle and move my fingers up and down from the middle. That seems... Just need a moment to catch my breath. That makes sense. That sounds like it would be better for me, right? It's more... More... Two-dimensional? I don't know. But I really like the idea of having keycaps with uh, braille on them. I really like that idea. Ah, oh, thank you. Skywalker. Skywalker. Alright, I'll be right back. Good bike, think you had a nightmare. He's all woken up. Oh yeah, the middle is the home row, yeah. That would make a lot of sense for Swedish for the three extra letters. Because the A, like we have two different A's. One with one dot over and one with two dots over. And have them just next to the regular A. And then we have the O with the two dots over it and having that there. We just lose these, I suppose. Would lose those. Hmm. Actually, no, we should take... A with two dots, A with one dot, and then... Oh, there we go. A, 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 O, O, and then we can use this for something else. That would be the setup, so we could... I could do that setup as well. Like, losing these buttons is annoying. And having access to them. Hmm. Well, this one is fine. Yeah, because that's up here I'm used to. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I want to save this image as... Dvorak Layout. Don't want it in wallpapers, just in images. Ah, that's fine. Wait, no. Wait. How... How can I... Like that? Ah, 
That was strange. That was strange. Graphical user interfaces, eh? Oof. Now, what the monkey says, umpteenth reason God would be an asshole if he existed. Designed animals to have nightmares. Why would a cat need nightmares? What's the evolutionary advantage of nightmares? Um, traumatic experience, um, right? We have a tendency to remember and focus on negative experiences, right? We have a tendency towards negative bias. Look at that. And one could argue, I'm not sure, right? This is speculation, right? Pure speculation. I have no idea. But thinking that nightmares help you consolidate, um, ter like, terrible memories or terrible things that happens to you and make you prepared for dealing with that situation in the future. That's what why we have a negative bias, right? About remembering negative experiences preferred to positive ones. Something like that, maybe. Hold on, just, that is not my layout. That is Dvorak. A more popular one. I suppose what you do is you design the layout yourself. You base it on something. And then you design it yourself. You make changes to it. That would make a lot of sense, right? Just a few changes. Here and there. For it. For your use case. Right? I'm thinking like... Having the most used letters on the home row... It's like a statistical thing, right? For most people, that might not be for you. Hmm. Colmac, yeah, right. That is what you were using. Almost what you were using. Wonder where the other one went. Right. Oh, it's weird. Weird. It's fine. Fine. Now. We're gonna be fine. I don't think that that will be a thing for me. I've thought about it, and it sounds like fun, but it also sounds like a lot of work. And all that work not being worth worth it for me. Well, I got a surprise. Uh, say, since I had that idea that I want Braille on my keycaps, I'm like, wonder why that is not more common than it is. Like learning Braille like that. You're learning to type anyway. I mean, it's just. Can't be that. Like just in production cost, I'm thinking, just adding braille to to the keycaps can't be that expensive. Maybe people who don't, who are not interested in learning braille or whatever, think it's uncomfortable. Maybe it is uncomfortable.
then why wouldn't they make keycaps with braille that was comfortable? I'm curious, yeah. Well, on the Waffle Monkey says, Do we just assume animals have nightmares because of patterns we observe that are similar to our own when we sleep and behavior after it seems like an epistemic nightmare studying pet consciousness? Wait, oh, this was a long sentence. All right. Do we assume, do we just assume animals have nightmares because of patterns we observe that are similar to our own when we sleep and behavior after it seems like an epistemic nightmare studying pets consciousness? Um, I think there's a period there. Humans can communicate and we barely understand it ourselves, let alone an animal that can't communicate with us fully. Says, Sorry, I keep forgetting about commas and stuff. It's fine. Alright. Assume animals have nightmares because of patterns we observe that are similar to our own. I mean... If we want to talk about nightmares... I mean, I'm, a, I'm assuming that it is nightmares, right? I'm giving them that name. I don't even know that they are nightmares, right? We could not know that... Th that is the case. He's like waking up, half waking up, and he is distressed. I have drawn the, like, I have the idea that, well, I start calling that a nightmare. I go to him and calm him down a little bit, right? I comfort him and he starts after a little while, right, shortly after I, I show up, he starts purring and starts, does not sound di what I interpret as distressed anymore. And it's all assumptions. So yes, we do assume these things. As you say, we, we don't know, we don't have anything to go by. Like, and I'm a pragmatist myself, so I'm happy making those assumptions. Just, need a moment to catch my Just observing his behavior. And it seems, it seems to me, I assume that he, like, he's less distressed. Just like, yeah. Yeah, and also, I mean, we can communicate. Me and the cat, of course we can. That's him waking up and start meowing like that, that, that distressed sound, that is him communicating to me that he is distressed. Oh, functionally. It's the deep breath before the plum. Yeah, functionally and pragmatically in it makes sense for me to behave and call it an, a nightmare, like categorize it as a nightmare in my mind. And then, like evolutionary advantage, that was just wild speculation, right? While I was thinking about that. Hmm. No owner says, I'm going to stop torching myself and fix my keyboard layout. Yeah, you should do that. No owner, fix it. Yeah, fix it indeed. Define Kesura. A pause or interruption, as in conversation, after an ominous caesura, the preacher continued. Hmm. Like the, like the deep breaths thing. Yeah. Literary name for punctuation in poetry. Ah, when we read rhetorics, they called it just an artistic pause. I think that's what my rhetorics teacher called it, rather than using the fancy literary term. Which is interesting, because like in rhetorics, especially a rhetorics course, it would kind of make sense to me to use the fancy word. Since we're in the university, right? Using fancy words would increase the... 
feelings of authority, perhaps. Whoa! I'm out. these weapons have started showing up. It's annoying. It is annoying indeed. You think I'm starting to have enough bows? I don't think so. I need more of them, eh? Mm. Sure, I've got two. Yeah, I can have three. That's fine. Hello. All right, what's this? All right, just free loot. Yeah, let's go get some free loot. Reload. Oh, yeah. Multiple totems? No, thank you. Not a terrible chest. Opulent. Like that word. I don't think it means exactly what I think it means, though. Hmm. Opulent, rich and superior in quality. Pricey sum. Gilded dining rooms. Yeah. Yeah, I would go with like gilded, grand, luxurious, priceless, sumptuous, 
right? The those examples, right? The synonyms does not really fit the definition. Rich and superior in quality. Hmm. It is confusing. Usually when I get here I don't I don't do this. I don't loot all the things. Now today I decided to just loot all the things. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I would say it's not really riveting gameplay. Right. Fun map? Mm -hmm. It's a time for taking it easy for a little while. Just a break in the, in the stuff, I suppose. In the monotony. One room done. Now for the second one. Physical damage converted to chaos damage. Look at that. But no. It's in general trash. We can save this one down here. Just 
just need a moment to catch my breath. No, oh, don't need that. Identified. Wait, can you craft this? The Vol Vessel. Kind of looks like that. Can you do that? Oh, but you can corrupt it. I guess I do want to do that. Can't craft uniques. Ah, right, yeah. Do I want to corrupt it? Oh, it's it's random. All right, so I, I want to ID it first, and then, depending on what it has. Ah. all the stuff, so... What do we have? Um... That didn't really help. Although, if you're short on Vol Orbs, it's not a big deal, since this zone has items dropping corrupted built into it anyway. It's just not 100%. Yeah, just you can just quality slash corrupt it then. All right, I do think I have some of the quality things in here. Proves to quality, yeah, three times. Should I do that? Sacrificial fragments and skill gems. Ah, better to save for diviners or arcanists. All right. Saving that, and I mean, I can use a vol orb, that's fine. I'm poor. But that's fine. Just to do something. Just to do something. It is now corrupted. All right. All right, it's not even any enemies. That's all that it is. Now Donna says, dude, this is insane. Have you already fixed your keyboard? No, that sounds way too fast. So what's insane? I'm curious.
A lot of rain of arrows. Hmm. Oh, what's my says? I've been trying out the strong boxes. Strongbox Atlas Passive in Glenarch Cairns. It's actually nice. Oh, nice, nice. No, 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 sis. No, but I'm learning really cool ideas. Lovely, lovely stuff. Banana Waffle Monkey says, I've been seeing a lot of strong boxes, so a lot of raw currency, divination cards, and monster density. Yeah, that's nice. Probably is kind of nice to try out. Actually, I'm going to be a little, little bit early on this bit today, though. I've been terrible in re at reading, and I want to see if I can manage to do some reading for... For two hours, or if I just can't do it. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, I was thinking is is um, calling the stream politics. That more apt or less apt? Like, does that work? Even when reading a book like this? Hmm. So, do you have an example, Node Runner, of a cool idea? And you're. What's it called? Hyping it all up. Making me all excited and then. Hmm. The follow up. Uh, the follow up. Later, says no donor. Yeah, too busy to ch try it out yourself, eh, first? Yeah, nice. All right. Let's see. But I'm off my cassettes. Uh, I also like strong boxes in general because you can sort. Uh, sort of craft or difficulty like metamorphs. Yeah, you can. Pretty much. 